As a woodworker, I sometimes have a hard time wrapping my head around how wood moves. I know a flat sawn board will cup away from the center of the tree, for example, but it's kind of difficult to explain why. Then the Lost Art Press vlog pointed to an ingenious way of illustrating how wood moves that was found in a 1936 issue of the Woodworker magazine. Lucky for me, I own the Woodworker, which they beautifully republished in four volumes. I highly recommend you check it out at the link in the description below. Here's how it works. I folded a piece of paper like a fan so I can wrap it around into a circle. The fan folds also create the same type of tension a log is under as it dries. Logs don't shrink into perfect miniature versions of themselves. Wood shrinks along the annual rings, which is called tangential movement, at about twice the rate as it does across the rings, which is called radial movement. This means the circumference of a log is getting smaller at twice the rate as a log's thickness. These tangential stresses are very much like the tension created by the fan folds in the paper circle. And in a log, those stresses usually lead to splits. So now that I've explained how the model works, let's add some boards as they would be living inside the log. On the top, we have your typical flat sawn boards. On the bottom, we have a square timber. And on the bottom right, we have the more desirable but also more wasteful quarter sawn boards. Now let's release the tension and see how drying affects these different boards. The flat sawn boards cup away from the center of the log. The square timber distorts in shape, and the quarter sawn boards show why that type of grain orientation is so prized by woodworkers. The shrinkage is more even. If you know how your boards will distort as they absorb or lose moisture, you can predict how it will affect your project and plan accordingly. If you'd like to learn more about wood movement, including the difference between quarter sawn, flat sawn, and other cuts, I'll put a link to a description in the description below to another tutorial we made some time back. This is a Koenigsegg, Sweden's finest sports car. This is a Joburgs, Sweden's finest workbench. They are things for people who appreciate quality and high performance, something they can pass down to their grandkids' grandkids. You can't afford this, but this will cost you less than a good cabinet saw. Check out what Showbriggs has to offer at the link below this video. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.